Hi, it's Tim from Toy Tinker Tim, and in this episode today we're going to do a review on the Independence Day Alien Supreme Commander made by Trend Masters back in 1996. Take a look at all the packaging here. The figure has sound effects, it has animation, it has a motion sensor, and uh, lots of detail that we've seen before with Trend Masters toys when they were in production. So this item's definitely on the creepy scale, but uh, so is the alien in the movie. So the toy doesn't let you down on those details. The alien figure measures in at about 14 inches tall and oddly enough the age range for this was ages 4 and up but I can't really see somebody giving this type of a thing to a 4 year old to play with but that was the age rating there and your mission disc for the computer stated uh, runs on a Microsoft Windows 3.1 or better. You needed to have uh, 4 megabyte of RAM free and 1.5 megabyte of hard drive space available. So 14 inches tall, it's just to the top of the head, uh, not to the tentacles there on the back uh, from foot up there. So articulation on the figure was at the hips for the legs there and strictly at the shoulders on the arm. Uh, the tentacles that uh, he's got here on his back are a uh, rubber with the wire on the inside so you can bend and move those around. Uh, the two that are coming out here are rigid and that's actually what helps keep it supported because in the front there of the foot it's just these little prongs like that uh, keep that up here in the back is your on off settings and just below this button is an additional button and uh, so you've got the on and off you also have a uh, mode a which with your motion sensor creates a sound only and then a mode b has the sound but also with the motion which is the opening and closing of the exoskeleton here. Okay, so his motion sensor is just located under the face here and uh, it gives like a roar almost here. It's, there we go. That's your motion sensor spot there. And then with the other setting here with the motion sensor where you have the sound and action here. Open up the exoskeleton to see the alien supreme commander here. Uh, take a better look here and how he's situated in there. Right below where he's seated is the speaker for the figure here. Uh, the figure, the alien creature here, he's quite rubbery, but there is a uh, twist tie that's used similar to the ones that are holding the figure in the package, crisscrossing around his upper body into the chair. Um, there's little clips here on the chair that uh, I guess just basically help to keep his arms in place there. Uh, so I have never cut the clip inside there to remove the figure, but it, it can come out. I've just chosen not to uh, go to that extent there to uh, keep it into place this way. So anyhow, there's our internal view of that setup. The inside is all painted in this kind of a pearlized blue color uh, inside both halves of the head here that open up so there's our look at our alien commander included with the figure here 
We have a nice uh, glossy little pamphlet here talking about some of the other lines they've got going on. Tarzan, the epic adventures with a computer adventure story here. And uh, kind of a look over some of the other sets potentially coming up there. The Independence Day ID4, some of their figures. And then Godzilla Wars here. We're taking a look at some of their uh, sets available and figures at that time. And uh, our back here we have coming soon to stores everywhere. There's Sinbad, Species, Mars Attacks, Profit, and Youngblood. Also, I'm not sure what became of those, but there was that included. Uh, we have a customer satisfaction survey card here also included with it. Looking for feedback on your impression and whatnot, your buying habits there. Uh, going back to them at St. Louis at the time, St. Louis, Missouri. Of course, we have our mission disc. A uh, little card here coming up with the PC requirements for that. Uh, how to install it. And again, uh, oh, Macintosh version of it here. You put in two bucks to get that one. So only the PC version was included. So it was not formatted for both. So, uh, and there's a good look at the disc itself, the floppy disc. Yeah, PC compatible, it's interesting. And your end user license agreement, as we would call it now. Look at all that fine print, holy cow. Give that to your four-year-old for hours of fun. Uh, and that's just the envelope here that the disc itself came in. Just letting you know that once you open this puppy up, you've got to agree to that uh, license agreement there when you pop this disc into your computer. So then I think the last bit of uh, paperwork included was your tentacle placement sheet. Uh, again, it's talking about those two rigid ones that go into the very lower back. They're basically what help support the figure and the rest are all bendable, uh, a wire inside the rubber so you can pose those six tentacles there. And then also it just kind of goes over the two modes of operation again. Mode A with sound only, mode B with sound and the motion there. And then the copyright information. So there's our paperwork. Well, that pretty well wraps up the overview, packaging, inserts, the functions of the figure, and uh, all the details here for the Independence Day Alien Supreme Commander from Trend Masters. So I hope you learned some new things and uh, enjoyed the episode. Please consider subscribing to support the channel here and keep things going. And uh, thanks for watching.